airplane <laughs> pilots uh, are, are a very impressive source yeah. of UFO sightings, one that occurred with a British uh, crew over Barcelona uh, last September, equally impressive. Mm -hmm. And the pilot's comment was that they certainly never saw anything like that before. Canadian Pacific Airways sighting over Peru uh, December of uh, last uh, of 1966, where one of the pilots with about 25 years in the air said that in all his time he'd never seen uh, an object remotely resembling this. It's these, these ca cases where you're dealing with witnesses whose reliability can't be impugned in mm -hmm. just a casual way that impressed me when I talked to the witnesses. Now, I don't believe in drawing conclusions from cases that I read in a magazine, but I have talked to these pilots uh, and talked to too many of them to regard the UFO problem as anything but an extremely serious scientific problem that we are sadly neglecting. Now, just the one more question. Why is our government officially uh, not uh, yes. declaring? Well, that's, that's, a, that's a matter of history. The Air Force was given the responsibility for investigating UFOs in January 7th of 1948, and they still have that responsibility. Project Blue Book, uh, it's been in existence now for 15 of those years, is portrayed in press releases and in the information given to the public, Congress, and science, portrayed as an operation drawing on the best scientific talent at the disposal of the Air Force. But that's utter nonsense. When you go to Wright-Patterson, when you look at, uh, at the people that are actually doing the investigation, when you examine the, the degree of investigation, it's a completely superficial operation carried out by people with almost no scientific competence. And yet it comes out in the press and papers after it's been passed through the machine as if there were a lot of expertise. And that has misled us all. Uh, I don't think there's been any, uh, you know, contrived uh, policy here of uh, utterly deceiving the public, but it's worked that way, that we have gotten the misimpression that the Air Force was really checking UFO cases. Nothing, as, I'll, as I, I want to stress, is farther from the truth. The Air Force regards it as a bunch of nonsense and have consequently downgraded the problem to where they pay virtually no attention to the UFO problem. And this is a very serious situation to have persisted for 20 years, I'm afraid.